Hello, my name is Steve Bradshaw. We're back doing some unboxing again. This time it is a Power 9 HMC, hard to mention console. The CR2 variety here, 7063 CR2. Right, so much like the power box we saw before, it comes on a pallet, it's fairly robust, weighs quite a bit, so usually there's two people to move it around. Let's start by just getting into this thing. Okay. Lots of strapping on the top. Again, just put the packaging away. Alright, can we get into the meat of the matter? Right. On the side, we should get some shipping documentation. Right. Not that it's particularly important for making it work, but it's very handy for serial numbers, model numbers later on. So keep your documentation, put it all in one packaging. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get in here. There's also some very useful information on this label just here. So, what I recommend is you actually rip this label off and keep it. Okay, this has got the model number serial number and everything. Okay. So just take your time with the peeling off, otherwise it's going to come off halfway through the time. That's great. Put that over with your documentation. But later, it'll, be, it'll save you some time, I promise. Alright, so let's get to the meat of the matter. We need just cut into the top. Use a blade, don't cut too deeply. There is a fair recess underneath here before the service starts, but if you send a big blade too far through, you'll regret it. There will be a scratch or a cut of something that you wish you had to cut. Right. So when you get the top open, first thing you find is a set of rails. Move that to one side, we'll do more of those later. Another box that looks just like a set of rails. It's just empty packaging. Stops things from wobbling around. So I'll put the rubbish on one side. IBM loves to send you power cables. They may not be cheap, but boy are they strong. So we'll have those along with another set of documentation. That's got model numbers on it. So we're going to take the other documentation, pop it inside there. First later, we'll want it, and if we don't put it together, we'll lose it. So, more documentation there. More fillers. Ah, we're going to come off the top. Zoom in on this side. Buddy. And now we finally get to the interesting part. Inside here is the HMC. So, we'll lift that up, take it away. It's a one use server. I recommend you lift it and turn it, unpack it slightly. Then again, you can lift it, give it a little shake, and it comes out of the packaging. Alright, this is where the beautiful part starts. So, that is the front. You can see that one of the discs has already started to come out of there. So, just to show you what that looks like. Standard disc, pop it back in. There's another one just there. Alright, hidden down this end is the on button, and we're going to use that later. That's a little bit recessed, we'll have to prod that. And then, let's just get this cover off at the back. You see the back is covered. It's got a little protection on it. And that idea, the idea of that is that uh, those are the most sensitive bits. And if they get clouted as you take them in or out of the packaging, or as it goes along, that's when this can become damaged, need fixing, or even replacing. So now that it's back in a relatively safe area inside an office space here, we can peel that off comes away. Right, you can zoom in on there. What we've got, five network ports. Okay, these four over here, these are used to manage HMCs remotely. So you might be managing a single server from each of these, or you might have a dozen on this one, a dozen on this one, none on this one, and a dozen on this one. You can manage up to 48 if I remember correctly. Uh, physical servers and about 2,000 partitions. This one over here is a special one that allows you to remotely control the HMC uh, when you are not here. So if it's in a data center or you're VPNing in from home, if you connect to this one, you'll get the equivalent of the power button, the video, and the USB keyboard and mouse. So you can literally turn it on or off as if you are 
um, stand in there when you're remote. Okay, so uh, alongside with that, got a couple of power supplies, and that's pretty much it. These sections here where you see tabs, this allows you to actually do work to remove these sections. So if I remove those thumb screws, pull those tabs, that would come out. And the blue tabs there, they release the power supply. So if I was to swap out a power supply, it's faulty or the fan is going up, it just pushes the blue tabs there. So blue is for maintenance. And these thumb screws, because there's a circuit board behind there, hold that in place as well. Okay. Big difference between this one and uh, the CR1 predecessor, the lid does not come off this one. On the CR1, you could remove this lid, work inside. Everything you're going to want to do, you're going to do from the front or the back these days. So, that should be about it for now. I'll do another episode when we actually start to fire this thing up. Oh, one last part. The rails. The rails. By default, it used to be that you've got the fixed rails. Okay. Please don't buy the fixed rails. Please make sure that you've got the adjustable rails. What's he talking about? Here, well, these are fixed rails. They are one length. They don't go in or out. They're fixed in length. Perfect for an IBM rack. But if you've got a non-IBM rack, then the distance between the posts inside the rack, where these lock on to, can vary. The variable rails, the adjustable rails, they all move backwards and forwards and mount in there. You get the fixed rails, and you've got an IBM rack, no problem. You've got the fixed rails on a non-IBM rack, there's at least a 50% chance that you're not going to be able to rack up this HMC. That's it for now. Thanks very much for joining. More on this later. Cheers, bye.